Let's, one, uh, let's look at the second one of the Icelandic Gambit and see if it holds up uh, maybe against better play. Okay. So the first moves e4, d5 are going to be the same. Take on d5, knight f6, c4, uh, e6, and now d takes e6, bishop takes e6, d4. And now check bishop d2, take uh, queen takes d2, queen here. And what could we improve here? Well, the first thing I saw was um, you, you played e6 and you gave away both your center pawns. And I was going, I was like, you, why didn't you just play um, f6 um, or no c6? Because then you take with the knight and then you have at least one center pawn. I well, that's the, that's the only thing I noticed. I mentioned it, I think, that here in this position after c4, both c6 and e6 are equally good. I can't say I actually favor one or the other. But if I think... Well, I, I, it, it sort of makes sense. I think just for the like sake... Like with your principles. For, for the sake of learning, I want to learn... Uh, I want to look at this um, bishop e6. e6 first. Because I actually don't see anything wrong with mm, it. Okay. But what I'm saying is, what, yeah. what could be an improvement for white here be? white yeah we saw that queen e2 doesn't work here um well then uh, queen e3 yeah yeah that's not what we said it would be better yeah yeah <laughs> so this game which we are looking at uh, features this idea of queen e3 okay so after queen e3 How what's the best it? move First of all, it doesn't block the bishop, so uh, that's good. And then, of course, it protects the pawn. So how do we, how do we exploit? And it centralizes the queen more. <laughs> I thought we were not developing queens too early. <laughs> <laughs> it's developed the, but didn't you already develop the queen twice now? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <yeah. laughs> I mean, it went here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in Grandmaster play, principles are down the drain. So. Who cares about principles when it's grandmaster level? You, so I mean, they just I, I, I want to mention play. that this was not between two grandmasters. This is between a 1600 player and a 1500 player. <laughs> so I mean, I mean, you know uh, what? principles are still negligible if you ask me. Yo, no, 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 no. They're very applicable. Even when you think they are not being applied, they are being applied. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, but. There is some benefit sometimes when you're learning stuff to look at amateurs and how they play and how they apply these things. So here, Queen E3 is played, so we need to take advantage to, to, to proceed. How do we proceed? Develop. Okay, but how? Uh. How do we go about developing? Well, I'm assuming that knight f6, knight c6 doesn't really work here because it's different. So maybe knight d8. <laughs> how? How? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, wait, I'm missing something. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely knight d8. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you want to take the knight to b d7? Is that what you're saying? The b8 knight? <laughs> 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 yeah, knight, knight b d seven. Yeah, but after d five and exchange screens, you are you are tossed. Nah. I quit before. Okay, because because the way you are approaching it, you have already disregarded the the, the correct move. <laughs> knight c six is the most accurate move. Oh no, not again! Yeah. <laughs> Because, I mean, you know, one of the worst things you can do to your mind is to say, obviously, knight c6 doesn't work. What do you mean, obviously? <laughs> you haven't even analyzed. So, knight c6 is the correct move. But how does it work? But it makes it interesting, right? That it, your mind completely rejects the idea that it potentially could work. Mm. And, and here, 
Just to I show mean, you. I mean, I just saw the fork. And you neglected the idea, right? Mm. Okay. And, and and that's the beauty of, 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 of having lessons. You actually learn that, well, maybe I need to remove that bias. And in the game, to show you how 1600s are way above you guys, they understood that D5 was wrong. <laughs> they played Knight F3. But let's go back. Wait, why is it wrong? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, D5, Knight B4, and then Bishop D7 or whatever. No, okay. So, uh, is it, yeah, it is probably not people. No, it's not actually. But the move is very strong. Huh. Now, in this position, uh, the queen has this weakness that it can leave the e file. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, after knight yes. g4, yes. he has to figure out how does he stay in the center of the board, closing the e file. was somehow maintaining this pin in a way, right? So, after knight g4, mm. um, queen e2. But before we look at queen e2, let's say white plays queen e4. What do you do here? That doesn't, that doesn't really look strong. That's not good. It's that way of thinking um, which is f5. Dangerous. No. <laughs> f5. If you play f5, it just takes on e6. Um, isn't then you take the do, queen. Isn't it something to do with attacking the f2 pawn? Exactly. Yeah. So it's queen f6. You're threatening f2 yeah. and you're threatening b2. Yeah, if he plays f5, you can just take the bishop of the queen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And this lost. Uh, yeah, and after yeah, queen e2, knight d4. And now he has another problem. Oh. He has to keep an eye on knight c2 check. <laughs> this is beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. So let's go back. So queen e4 doesn't work. And if e4 doesn't work, the only square left is e2. And now we're back to blocking our bishop. <laughs> I'm back to play knight d4. Knight d4, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The knight is protected. The queen is under attack. Now the queen is to stay in this diagonal and keep an eye on c2. So after knight d4. But the, but the queen can't do that. Yeah, yeah. He can play queen e4. He goes queen e4, right? <laughs> yeah, knight f, queen f6. No, no, no. And this time, uh, your, knight, your knight blocks uh, b2. So if you go queen f6. You could simply play f3. Oh, yeah. But now you have check. Mm. <laughs> right? You've got this check, and now he goes knight d2. Yes. If he goes knight c3, okay, queen b2 is simply winning. Forgot to say why. I didn't get that? Um, you remember when we were, when, um, you used knight c3 was a bad move, but we're not going to discuss it yet? Oh, yeah, yeah, but we will get it, we'll get to it. There's quite a lot of stuff wrong here <laughs> for us to someone knight c3. So knight c3 is bad. We'll look at it. Okay, knight d2 uh, is bad. You can see knight c3 is bad, so knight d2. Um, and here, a very strong this move. Worse. A very strong move in this position is a uh, queen b6. Resign. <laughs> uh -huh. It's very strange that queen. Oh, that's nice. Queen b6 is stronger than um, than queen b2. Because the problem. How is it strange? It's very mate. No, no, not yet. Uh, there's because a then with there's a nice queen b2. Thing. Then you have rook b1, and then. Yes, and then queen takes a2. And it's and, uh, it's, 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 you're not having a good time. Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not having a, a good time. In fact, maybe after rook b1, you even have knight check. But after king e2, you still have to run with your queen. So it's not clear. But queen b6 is very strong. And it's got a very direct threat. He wants mm. to play check mm -hmm. and then play check, play knight e3 check. And I'm sure it's mating. 
So queen b6, yes. yeah. And here he goes knight h3, <laughs> def defending. Let's go back. What if he plays the greedy one? Let's say after queen b6, he plays d takes e6. What do we do? Uh, mm. My board's not updating, right? Really? Yeah. Mm, uh, we, um... Is yours uh, updating? Ah, um... oh, there we go. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's fixed now. Well, now I'm you've removed the defender of the knight on g4, so maybe knight f6, I'm not sure. When you're attacking, you don't go backwards. f5. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I thought he had on person, sorry. <laughs> queen b1. He doesn't have squares, the queen. And now knight c2 check. Queen takes c2. Queen check. King here. Knight check. King there, queen check, and it's me. Oh. So uh, you don't even go for the queen. Yeah, yeah, you're not you're not interested in the queen. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> very very nice idea. So he can't after queen b6, he's got problems. Um, that's why he has to defend with knight h3, uh, the square f2. So yeah, how do you proceed? Uh. Um, knight f6. You don't, you don't go backwards <laughs> when you're attacking. Uh, uh, no, uh, f5, 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 just because it, no. why not? f5. No, no, castle's long. Not f5. I mean, you can take the bishop. Oh, no, you can't take the bishop this time. Yeah, but, oh, but that's, that's the critical line, right? No, no, but wait, no, but then rook e8, rook e8, rook d8, or that's whatever. That's the plan, right? So he goes... Then d you have rook e8. After d takes e6... f5. Actually, here... <laughs> the move... <laughs> the move I is mean, the knight's hanging. The move is contrary, knight f6. <laughs> it's contrary to everything. Ah, yes. yeah. ah. <laughs> but, okay... It's winning, right? Where does the queen go? Only, it only works when it's winning. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no. Probably d3. Isn't d3 just That's losing? losing? I think. <laughs> yeah. I <don't> know. <laughs> There's so many things wrong with d3. One of them is that queen takes e6 is check. Mm. Um, but I actually... King has to move. And also queen d3 kind of... Uh, this bishop is stuck. So let's say queen d3, rook h e8, and whatever happens... Or even stronger, just queen takes on b2. Just queen takes yeah, on b2. Yeah, queen takes b2. I was reluctant because of rook b1. Yeah, but... But then maybe nice. Yeah, but, check. <sighs> no, yeah, but you, nice you, there's a discovery. There has to be a discovery. Yes, nice c2. Yeah, yeah, nice c2 check king d1. Then you take b1. The check. rook first. Yeah, yeah. No, you can't. Doesn't no, you work. can't. Doesn't, doesn't if, work. if your queen has taken the b2 and a2 pawns, then it defends the fork. Yeah, but okay. When, if you, if when, you think about when, it. When the check comes, it's not worth it. But let's say, let's say queen d3 here. I like this idea, and um, and you just go rook here. Well, why can't you take on e6 now? Huh? Because queen. The queen. it's just bad. You've been told it's I th bad. I thought I thought it was. I thought it works also. I just didn't like. Um, and now, that. Um, rook h e1. This is probably already winning. And I play rook h e1, now you're winning. Yeah, yeah. Oh, but there's, there's, knight, there's knight f4, I think. But there's no doubt that... There's knight, uh, there's knight c2, there's knight c2. 
Yeah, but there's no doubt that Blake is not in danger here. He's the one who's just saving to struggle with which line wins. So... No, the knight f4 does work. Even yeah. if you play knight c2. So in this position, I thought maybe one move you could consider is to play bishop e2. Uh, for white, yeah, for white instead of bishop knight. b2. Mm. Oh, okay, knight h3, maybe knight h3 is, is important, and then uh, castles long. And uh, instead of d6, I thought maybe bishop e2 here, but now after knight f6, uh, queen d3. Uh, bishop f5. But, hmm. This is lost. I still don't understand why f5 doesn't work. <laughs> I just think because there's better moves. Because okay. it's not that it's losing. I think that's just there's better cleaner moves. Oh. Yeah, there's just better cleaner moves. That's all. <laughs> mm. So, okay. Queen e3. Yeah. Um. Knight c6, uh, knight f3, and here we castle long, again threatening to take on d4. And we're back in this position. Yeah, yeah. we're back in this position. Uh, bishop e2. So we, we just established that d5 just simply doesn't work. That was that whole yes. uh, discovery process was about. So bishop e2. Now, the position of the queen on e3, it makes it possible to try uh, to close the e-file. And once again, the fork does not work. Um, but wait, did the 1600s know this just by knowledge or, or actually knowing the opening? They know, I, I don't know, knowing the opening is indeed knowledge. <laughs> no, 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 Mark, did they, did they calculate it? No, I'm sure, I'm sure they the know the thing. line. I'm sure nowadays it's so easy for any student to learn lines. Except if he really is lazy, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I see, I see. No, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's not... It's not, it's not difficult. I mean, think about it. Like now, we've looked yeah. at it, right? You can think with it. Mm. If this were to happen in your game, most of these moves you wouldn't be thinking about. Yes. Why? Because... Because... <laughs> no, but, 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 <laughs> but, but they could be puzzles derived from the Scandinavian, if you think about it. No, there is. Yeah. There, is there is a range of books called... Uh, like the London tactics. I don't know if you've ever seen them. Um, I, I, I really, I don't I've, really have a lot of chess books. Okay, I've got them. I, I've looked at them because, I mean, you, you get all the tactics in that particular opening. And, you know, like the Rui Lopez, the Italian and whatever. And, you, you, and it makes you stronger mm. because you become familiar with the tactics. And I think it's part of learning any opening. You learn the ideas and tactics in it. Typical ideas, mm. right? And here d5 yeah. again doesn't work because of this knight g4 idea. And this time queen e2 and you just go rook h8. And we've looked at similar examples and it holds up here. We are this exact position. Yeah, in the previous You're laughing moment. in the face of danger. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually from the previous game. Because now after knight mm. c3, what was the move? Do you remember? Uh, queen b4, right? No, that was a move you wanted uh, to play. No, was... Night before, night before, night no. before. Uh... You, take, you take with the bishop on d5. Exactly. <laughs> but, 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 but here it's you, a big You can just take back. No, it's not. It's actually, I, I now understand why. Yeah, it's not. If you take yeah, here, yeah, it's not before. Yeah, yeah. If you do this now, it, it's even worse because um, the knight is on g4 already attacking. 
even this night E3, which mm. we were t- talking about earlier, doesn't even work at all at this point. You yeah, see? I can just take. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So going back. Uh, what were we looking at? Uh, we were looking at Knight G4, Queen E2, Rook H8. That's it. Oh, so we're back in this line. So Bishop E2, and we were looking at why D5 still doesn't work. And after Bishop E2, Knight G4, eating the Queen. Uh, Rook H8 is also possible. Now the Queen can't move back. Rook G8 also possible, yeah. But knight G4. Now queen C, queen C3. Bishop F5. The whole idea here is to open the E file and to play Rook H8. And yes. here, white plays H3. And now we don't care, we still play rook h8. Exactly, we don't care. I mean, you're still threatening mate. You're threatening mate. At yeah, the, yeah. So yeah. The, so. <laughs> the tempo is completely outruled by the bigger tempo. <laughs> yeah, but here there's another interesting move. Um, Just defending. No. No. I'm so lost. <laughs> no, but it makes sense because he can't do anything. So it's like you're just giving away your knight. What? No. I mean, he can take another rook. I mean, there is, there there is so anymore. much cool stuff happening here. For instance, you can't take with the knight because of knight takes d4. Not only threatening yeah. this, mm. but also threatening that. So. Just establishing that the knight can't take is your first prize, right? And then again, taking with yeah. the taking with the rook is much more complex if you think about it, um, because now you've you're ba- basing the whole attack on a long term uh, tempo misplacement of pieces. So rook h8, and now a uh, queen d2, is like the only move, right? You could play maybe knight. Can't play? Yeah. Yeah, knight e five. Yeah, but that's just lost, right? Yeah. Knight e five. I would just take on d four. And. Yeah, it's the Cassie one. Yeah. Mm. So. But doesn't queen d two also not work because you can just take on d four? Let's see. Uh, queen d two. Yeah, no, no, it's overprotected. It's overprotected. No, it's not. If he takes it now, you take it with the rook. And then he takes with your... Yeah, yeah, no, then no, no. I that's you. perfect, that's perfect. Yeah, knight takes d. <laughs> yeah, knight takes d4, yeah. Oh, yes. sim- simply works. And... and look it's, at... so, it's, it's so disgusting. <laughs> it just works. Let's let's go back. It's so dis... It doesn't... This, you're, you're rewriting my, my knowledge of chess. <laughs> but it's nice to look at ideas like this because they make you think much more carefully about what you're doing on the board, right? I enjoy <laughs> sacrificing my pieces, especially my queen for three minor pieces. <laughs> yeah. Now, another interesting idea is, okay, let's say queen d2. Uh, instead of queen d2, let's say queen e3. Um, but that's c3. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, just blocking, right? But now queen f6. And the... Just, just the, the, the intercontinental <laughs> ballistic bomb has yeah. been released. <laughs> Again, you know, like d4 comes. Okay, is a piece down, but... It's it's going to come back. At what cost? Yeah, yeah, it's going to come back. So yeah, it's 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 quite a quite an interesting setup. So, however, rook h e eight, um, rook h e eight is what is played. It's winning faster. 
Yeah, but I, I think that Knight H2 would be would be amazing to play over. It's an board. interesting position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just you just be you just play that move and look at your and look at your opponent and you just start sweating. Ah. You you can see his face. He's like, but what does this do? I'm, like, sure, I'm sure you'll be flagged for cheating if you played like that. <laughs> <laughs> Queen takes e2, and now rookie one. Uh, one doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, rookie one doesn't work always because in many lines actually you had to consider it because queen can just go to c2. Yeah, take on. Uh, it, and it, I, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. And now you do a rook. <laughs> yeah. It works now, I guess. I mean, now you can, all you have to do now is just do a rook lift, and anyone can do that, basically. No, wait. Uh, rook, rookie e1, yeah. Rookie 1. Yeah, it's, it's sort of good. I wonder. Because uh, the, queen, the queen is stuck in that this, this No, position. actually, it doesn't work. Oh, man, it's beautiful. Yes. Be because work. for some reason they are, you always have a card to pull out of your pocket. Yeah, it's it's like, it's like a magician playing actually black here. Rookie one. <laughs> is, is it because you can just take on f3 with the queen? No, no, no. I'll show you now why. There was oh. an, there was another idea. Knight <laughs> yeah, right. bd2 trying to actually trap uh, a game like this. Mm. But but yeah, it would have just allowed white to hold the balance. I think. Um. Rook e1 doesn't work because of knight takes d4. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man. No. This is not fair. <laughs> but that doesn't... It's, oh, it no, shouldn't no. work. It shouldn't work, but it does, it's, right? Um, it, it looks like, it looks like you've knight blundered all your way into this position. That's what it looks like. Too. Yeah. Knight d2. Okay, I will look at it, 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 all of them. Rook e2 doesn't work <laughs> because of knight uh, e2 check, king f1, and then yes. we take the queen. So that part is obvious. Um, no, 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 wait. Uh -huh. If he, if, no, if he takes, he takes, if he plays that, he, he can play check first. No, it doesn't work. Oops. Doesn't work, yeah, yeah. Okay, so but here yeah, it's already better. It's winning for it's winning for black, right? Yes. Yes. So let's yes. go back here. So he doesn't take on e2 and plays Jeremy's strong move, knight b d2. But now bishop takes f3. Again, mm. <laughs> you still have this problem, right? Yes. So knight f. If that's if nothing changed. Yeah, yeah, knight f3 check. And no, g f3. And now, queen to Easy. queen to d3, and oh, but you have rook takes e8. Correct, yeah. And what does that do? Check oh. first. Yeah, you have to play check first. That's what it does. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeremy, uh, but you take, you take. Okay, the point was that yes, yeah, so you take. If the you take, <laughs> yes, you lose the queen. Yeah. Oh right. Yeah. But. All these lines you, yeah, have, to see, the you have to see them first. You have to see them way back here, and that's I think the difficult part. When you take on d4, you need to have calculated these possibilities. When you take on d4, and we were looking at what knight bd2, right? And suddenly bishop yes. f3, knight f3, and knight f3, gf3, queen d3. He takes here, queen g6 check, and. He holds on to the material, so it's 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 actually quite impressive the the depth um, uh, that people can go to. Yeah, so knight d4 and white's defense is actually quite smart, in a way. Get out of the checks with king h1. <laughs> but yeah, the continuation. Easy solution. The continuation which. Uh, which uh, white finds if not what is it rook e6 no, <laughs> just knight f3 is just destroying everything because now 
Normally, you'd be worried about losing the queen, but when the king went to h1, it puts itself in a mating net. Because now... Oh, yeah, because he can't take the queen, huh? Yeah, because of this mate. <laughs> so he, resi oh. he resigned. <laughs> he resigned here. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah? <laughs> No, nah, this is this. You, you are the ones who say you want to play chess very well. This is playing chess very well. This is beautiful. Yeah, but like I, you think why don't I see all this? And I think it's because the the, the stupidness. You've just been taught that you shouldn't. Just, you should just take. You should just leave knight takes d4 out of your calculation because it's never gonna work. Basically, that's what they But teaching. but it frees your mind now that you know, right? Yes. Yeah, it does. Never me. forget, you can always sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's the beauty of it. I would recommend to play this kind of chess because it makes you, you know, like you grow. It's it's actually fun to play also, and as you can see, you can get a lot of a joy out of it. So yeah, that's that's part two of our slender gambit uh, uh, opening for the Scandinavia.